All right, how you doing today? Today we'll be taking a look at UJAM's Virtual Pianist Score. This is their third library in a series of libraries. We have Vibe and Vogue, and now we're on Score, which is really cool. Um, this is kind of like a, if you don't play piano, it plays piano for you. If you do play piano, you can play the sounds and everything else. So it's kind of a best of both worlds. Uh, let's take a look at the interface here if you're not familiar with this. Um, quick overview. We have presets up here and we have introduction set. Um, we have soft and dark. We have strong and bold. We have pads and atmospheres, experimental and remix styles and standards, odd meters, all kind of really cool presets. And we'll go explore some of those in a bit. And this particular piano VST, if you will, is set up where it has different character settings for the piano sounds. You have Abyss, you have Dampton, Mellow, Pure, Royale, and then you have a dark setting, a light setting, and anywhere between. And then we have the finisher effects, which are built into most of the UJM products these days. All kind of really cool effects going on in here, like multi chains of effects all put into like one kind of knob here and you can adjust the amount. And then we have the ambience, which is like our re reverbs and delays, uh, combinations of things really easy to use. And then we have the instrument mode, which we're looking at right now. And we have the player mode, which is great for creating, you know, really quick patterns and things like that, which we have the styles. These are different midis, MIDI uh, patterns down here and sets of MIDI patterns, I should say, that go along with what you're playing down here. And the quick way to explain this is down here, you get the first couple keys are gonna be less busy of a part. You hit that, oh wait, hold on. The intensity moves up. So the intensity of what you're playing will move up down here. And then we also have these chords that we could hit, like say for example. So I'm adding in those extra chord hits there. You have to have a key up here hit, so. Ah, sorry. Um, and then the, the patterns get more intense as you move up and then there's fills. There's like three fills or stop button as well. So the most intense pattern is gonna be this. And you could actually play single note chords up here or you could actually play chords if you're familiar or if you're using MIDI packs and stuff like that. Like for example, you hit the D here. So I have the key of C here, so that's gonna be D minor and such. Let's go to the key of D. So in those key of D, we we're playing a D major and an A major, back to, back to the A or key of C. So that's really a quick way to create your chords if you're not a piano player or such. Um, and if you are, or you could make more complicated chords such as like a, let's see here. So we got a D sus two. E minor seven. and so on and so forth. So the different chord sets going on, all kind of fun stuff. And we have simple, simple voicing and more complex voicings over here as well that you could, could uh, play different things with. 
and we got our latch mode here. We got timing. Right now I have it on latch mode. That, that will, that'll keep the, the, you hit a key, it's gonna keep the thing playing. If I turn it off, this is gonna, it's only gonna play for as long as I hit the note. Uh, and then we have swing mode, we have normal speed, half speed, double speed, uh, sync to the song position, and then a loose fill and a tighter fill for humanization. Some little extra features down there. Over here, these are your mod keys on your keyboard, or you can control them this way. We've got the velocity here. We have a busyness thing, which comes in really handy. So if you're playing like this pattern, let me put the latch on. Kind of sprinkles a little more extra flavor onto the keyboard part. Great for if you're like have a vocal or something and in between vocal lines you want to you know put a little not a fill but just a little extra something or just use it as it is. You could control that with your mod wheel or just with your mouse here as well and that could all be automated as well. So let's go through some presets here to get some of these sounds and things going on. We have the patterns down here that you could switch independently of the presets up here. So I just changed the style we're playing down here. So all these patterns down here are going to change. So now if I hit a D minor chord. We'll get something different than what we had before. And these are all tempo suggestions. It is MIDI, so you can play them in any you know, tempo you want. And we also have MIDI drag and drop, so you like that pattern, you grab it right here, you throw it into your DAW, and you're good to go. Um, this is a little crazy because you have to keep changing the, the, the chords you're playing. So if you, that, that would be the last chord I hit. So if you want the D minor chord, you hit that one, and then you have to switch the chord. And then grab it again. Actually, I'm grabbing the wrong spot, but it's right down here, sorry. That's the fills. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a little weird, but whatever. And then over here, we have all these different sounds that we can create. Say we have this pattern playing. So you can really quickly dial in a sound to your song, your liking, your mix, whatever. And I turned off some of the effects here just to give you an example of the dry piano sound. And then you can start adding in your effects as well. This is just the preset ones here for this sound. Let's go through some of these. Now when I change these presets up here, it's going to change the pattern that it's playing down here as well. So we'll just check out some of these preset patterns with one note chords.
So as you can see, you could quickly get all kind of really nice atmospherics, soundtracky, you know, all kind of really cool stuff. It has the effects built in. And of course you can play with these, you know, probably all day and figure out different things, different sounds. I'm just going through some of the presets. Let's see what else we got here. So that's the introduction, you know, kind of a mixture of different presets. Let's check out um, experimental and remixed. That's always the funnest ones to play around with. Almost like a piano is the patch calls. So you can really see what the effects are doing here, um, which you can, you know, let's just play around with some of those. We'll stay with that. That's this dry piano. Um, let's play these patterns again here. Sorry, that was my sequencer. So yeah, you could get all kind of sounds out of this thing and have hours of fun. Let's check out the instrument mode. We could that sound we like, let's say if you're a piano player, you could just Maybe change it up a little bit here. Darkness, make it a little darker, lighter. Check out the Abyss piano. Ooh. So really cool. Let's check out the sequence I got going on here with this piano part. Let's turn up the effects here. Get a standard piano sound.
I should note there is a bass playing as well in here, I think, yeah. So yeah, this could be great, you know, it's mostly for soundtrack music, but you could use this in pop, EDM, um, hip hop and stuff like that, lo-fi music, because you could just really shape your sound. You know, this is that, like that beat right there I just came out with, uh, well, not, not the beat, but the sound. Um, maybe you want it more in the background like that, maybe you want to highlight it more. Make it completely unrecognizable. Just really cool piano plug in here. I could play with this all day. I'm sure I'm, <laughs> I don't want to waste any more of your time watching this video. But yeah, I would definitely check it out. I have the other ones here too. There's a 30 day free trial. Um, vibe's really cool. It's electric piano. And then we have the, uh, what's it called? The, the state or the big stage entertain. I think it's just called entertain. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, the big stage entertainer, Vogue. Actually, it's just called Vogue. That's the name of it. And then we got Vibe and we got Score. And yeah, just hours and hours of fun and creating your sound. Totally lost in this. But check it out. Worth checking out indeed. All right, so that is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.